Welcome back to the Hidden Artifacts channel. My name's Andy. I'm gonna do some digging today. <laughs> it's morning, I think it's about 10 a.m. Uh, it's been really, really hot the last few days, like unseasonably hot, record-breaking hot, 94 degree hot. Uh, has made digging basically impossible. Um, you can only be outside for a few minutes before it's just way, way too much. So today I decided to get out early. I've got the day off. Uh, it's going to be a little bit cooler today, mid 80s. I can handle that for a little while at least. Um, and I decided to go somewhere new, somewhere a little risky. It's not a park. It's not a home. Um, in fact, it's almost nothing. But I think that's what attracted me to it. Uh, I won't name the location yet because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to find here. And if it's really good, I want to keep it to myself. Um, and if there's nothing, I'll tell you. But this is a old lot that, according to an aerial map, once was a pretty expansive field. And I think there was a couple buildings here. Um, and it's nearby a couple things. It's nearby a school. It's nearby a church. Um, and a couple other really important places that I don't want to name because it'll give it away. Um, I'm excited about this one. I don't know why. I drove past it all winter thinking, man, there might be something there. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see what I find. Uh, it technically is part of a park, so it's not like I'm you know, just going on some private property or anything. I wouldn't do that. Uh, so we're gonna see what we find. I got some new uh, profiles for my metal detector from Equinox 300, sorry, 800. Um, and we'll see how that pans out. I, I was on Facebook a lot and seeing what uh, kind of profiles people were working with, what kind of settings. And um, I got one that looks pretty promising. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to give that one a shot. And if not, I'll just flip it back to standard factory. Um, so with that, let's get started. All right, I had to factory reset my, uh, my Equinox because, I don't know, something was messed up. <laughs> it kept getting a bunch of feedback. So unfortunately, I'm just back to the regular standard uh, factory preset, but um, it's hot. It's really, as you can see, it's a little humid. And there's tons of mosquitoes, so I'm probably gonna have to pause uh, after this dig to go get some mosquito spray because I don't really want to get a bit up. And I'm really actually kind of afraid that there's a lot of poison ivy around here, so I'm gonna be really careful and make sure I wear my gloves. But check this out. Five minutes here, first hit. And here, I don't know if you can see it. There it is. We got a coin. It's about three inches down. And it's looking silver. And it is. <laughs> we got a Merc. My first ever Merc. Nice. What kind of date is it? It's looking like a 19... 19 1919 there we go perfect gorgeous yep i'm liking this site i think i hit a good one five minutes in already hit silver incredible All right, after getting eaten alive and seeing far too much poison ivy, way more than I'm comfortable with, I uh, decided to go to Meyer and get this lovely number. <laughs> it's long sleeve, it's all they had. It's the middle of May, actually it's the end of May. They don't have any long sleeve shirts. I found one and this is it. It's Star Wars, I don't care. It was six bucks. So I'm gonna head out again. I got tons of mosquito spray on, long sleeves. I'm not messing around. I think I got a good spot here, so uh, here we go, round two. All right, Mountain Valley Spring. <laughs> that one came up pretty high, but clearly that's just a bottle cap. There's a lot of stuff back here, though. I found a couple full tabs, some nails. So there's definitely there's definitely things here. Just got to find the right stuff. Okay, next up. <laughs> Some kind of old iron ring. Not sure what to think of that. Looks handmade, it's pretty old. 
Interesting. Here, coming up in the 20s, and I just popped it out. So let's see what we got. There are mosquitoes everywhere, but hopefully they're not landing on me. And something around here stinks. I don't know what it is, if it's an animal or something died, but man, oof, it's bad. I thought it was me at first, but no, I said something. Anyways, here we go. It's got a rounded edge. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That is an elephant. It's pretty heavy. It feels like it might be lead. Is there anything on the bottom? I don't see anything. That's awesome. I like that a lot. That is really cool. Why in the heck is that out here? Very neat. I'm keeping that guy. All right, I got a solid 13. Just solid 13. It would not budge out of that. And uh, dig, 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 dig. And look what just popped up. You see it right here? That is a cross. And that is incredible. Wow, that's great. That's really nice. I don't think it's gold. I'm not sure what it is. I will look at that a little bit more, clean it up, let you guys know. Super nice. And I think there's more down there too. <laughs> Super happy about that. And right next to it, I knew there was more. Just found the chain. And guys, I think it might be gold. See that? <laughs> yeah. I am buzzing right now. This is great. It might be plated. I don't know. But that is clearly gold colored. I don't know, it's starting to fall apart. Take a closer look at that when I get home. But that's pretty cool. Found the chain with it. Love it. Good find. Right, here we go can you see it I'll give you a second there it is just popped out super green solid 20 it's a big one and it's not a coin <laughs> it's a shotgun shell uh, I was so pumped for that. I mean, it's an old one, don't get me wrong. I found a lot of these. Ah, what a bummer. Thought for sure that was a coin. Oh well, maybe next time. Okay, just had another solid 17. I think I just popped it out of the hole here. Yep, that's it. Let's take a look. Ah, yes, it's another figurine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm loving this spot. This is great. Man, that's an old one. I'm thinking, what, 20s? Oh, that's really cool. Dig it. Okay, I got a solid uh, 20s. Just popped out. And it appears to be a car. <laughs> it's the bottom of one. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll find the top or not. Missing a wheel. I'll keep looking and see if there's the, uh, the other half to it. One, a musket ball. This is my second musket ball. 
It's right at the bottom of this hole, pretty far down, maybe six inches. And there it is. I don't know. I'll have to clean this up and see, but I, I think it is. It's got all the signs of a musket ball. It's got that ridge on it from the uh, molding process. And it is heavy. That is definitely lead. Cool. I guess in late 1800s. Nice. All right, I am just about wrapping up for the day. I am hot. I am sweaty. Found some really good stuff. And then this popped up. I'm almost afraid to touch it. What in the hell is that? Gosh. So, uh, okay, so this is a cigar tube. And it has writing on it. It says something pan paper. Pencil, pen, paper. Pencil, pen, paper. Uh, uh, and what do we have? We, mm. <laughs> we have a pencil, a pen, and some paper. Uh, okay, there you go. Nice. <laughs> Any of you guys can enlighten me as to what this might be, because I have no idea. Let's see. It feels like it's copper. It's got a little knobby thing. It's got some kind of clip to hold something on. And then these really long arms that extend out from it. I almost want to say it looks like some kind of old window washer, like from a car. Windshield washer, I don't, or a wiper, I'm not sure. I really don't know. Interesting. I don't know, maybe somebody out there knows what it is. I think it's brass, actually. You can see it coming through there. Strange. All right, I was headed back, headed back to the car, heading off. Of course, as we all do, we have our detector on on the way back and think, hey, that's a solid 25, why not one more? And I'm kind of glad I did because that guy just popped up from way down there. Just take a look at this. That's a good eight inches, easy. And I have absolutely no idea what this is. But it looks pretty old. If this is a memorial penny, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, what is this? It looks like an Indian head, maybe. I don't want to mess it up too bad. All right, let me clean this up. I'll let you know. Definitely a coin though. You're never gonna believe it. It's a stinking Roosevelt. 2001. How did that get down there? <laughs> How did that get down there? That is crazy. That was like eight inches down. Look at this. I'm baffled. I don't get it. <sighs> All right, another weird item on the way back to the car. What is this? Any clues? It appears to be wrapped in copper, a really thin layer of copper. Scissors? No, because there's no point, or uh, pivot point. Any guesses would be great, because I have no idea. That's a weird one. All right, I am back. Finished up hunting for the day. Totally exhausted. 
oof, man, it was hot and it was humid and uh, I had to wrap it up. I had to go. I couldn't do it anymore. But man, look at all this stuff. This spot is really paying off. Let's start with the garbage. Oh, look, pull tabs. Go figure. I even cleaned them up for you. Isn't that nice? Mountain Valley Spring. I kind of like this one. It's like Mountain Dew, but it's not. It's Mountain Valley Spring. Uh, we've got a Winchester New Rival number 12. I've actually gotten one of these before. Um, if I remember right, it's early 1900s. Um, matchbox car for you guys out there that really appreciate the matchbox. Uh, it is only the bottom, and it appears to be from 1979 for a Chevy van. Kind of cool. Uh, we've got the weird pencil, pen, paper, which is going in the trash. Uh, big ring, big iron ring. Not entirely sure what in the heck this could be. I know you're seeing it, and now you're looking at it. Look at that cross. Man, that cleaned up nice. So this appears to be a silver chain. It looks like it's really old. I mean, the links are all handmade. Um, it's actually got an engraving. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. That appears to be Mary. And then on the back, I think that's Joseph. Or, nope, that's Jesus with some kids. There he is. Um, as far as the cross itself, it's not gold. Big bummer there, but it was gold in. It was gilded. Um, I'll keep it. I think it's pretty nice. Cleaned up pretty well, actually. We have my big find, first one ever, 1919 Liberty Mercury Dime. Look at that. Not a huge find, but for me, it's a first. I've, I've found Barber Dimes and I found Silver um, Eisenhower Dimes, but I've not found a Mercury. So this is my very first one. Really, really happy about that. As far as the other coins I found, lots of 60s, 70s, 80s coins. Um, that one was the one that was eight inches down. I don't know why, still annoyed by that. Musket ball, really happy about that. Check that out. That's incredible. So that's clearly gonna be late 1800s, maybe, maybe early 1900s, but really happy about that one. That's my second musket ball. Uh, and then we've got the lead toys, we've got a little circus elephant. I looked this guy up online. Um, I found a very similar one that was from 1910. So that's probably around the same date. It was really, really similar. Not exactly the same, but very, very similar style. And then we've got our lead soldier playing the trumpet. The trumpet part's gone. Um, but I actually found a picture of what this used to look like painted, and I'll, I'll throw it into the video now. So pretty cool, pretty cool find. I like that one a lot. And that one appears to be 1920, 1930s. Two mystery finds that have actually reached out to my Facebook group are, uh, are these. I swear I have seen this before and I don't know where. It, I wanna say it's from a musical instrument or something. It slides up and down. Clearly it's meant to be moved. It's got two holes in the end. I know I have seen this and it's gonna drive me crazy and I don't know where I have seen it. So hopefully my friends online can help me figure that one out. And then the last one I got is this. I have no clue what this is. Um, it appears to be steel, but it's covered in a really thin layer of copper, which is really odd. It's not scissors because it's not sharp, but it's about the size of a scissor. Couldn't tell you what that is. I really have no clue. It's an odd one. And again, I'm hoping that the uh, people that I have in my Facebook group can help me clarify that what, it, what that is. If I figure it out, I'll, I'll put it in the description uh, in the video below here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one. Hopefully, I have a lot more digs this summer. I'm gonna be going up north again. I'm gonna be hitting my secret spot again because uh, there's way more there to be discovered. And I'm gonna take you right along with me. Until then, keep digging.